What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Absolute Baseball 10 box case break. Random teams number three sold out. And again, guys, everybody gets a random team in the MLB. And here we go, guys. Here's the dice roller. Here's the customer name that I bought in. Here are the teams. Let's roll it. And we got ourselves a four and a three, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Four and a three, seven times. Dan down to Matthew Wood. All right, four, three, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven times. Dodgers down to the Cleveland Guardians. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see who got what. So Dan with the Dodgers, Jeremy with the Royals, Lonnie with the Rays, Nick with the Yankees, Anthony with the Rockies, Justin with the D-backs, Kevin with the Reds, Addison with the Orioles, Chris with the Rangers, Lonnie with the Blue Jays, Matthew Wood with the Marlins, Rory with the Cubs, uh, Chris with the Phillies, Dustin with the Padres, Lonnie with the A's, Charles with the Giants, Lonnie with the White Sox, Justin, you have the Angels, Brett with the Tigers, Mariners, Adam with the Astros, Rory, you have the Brett, uh, Red Sox, Josh with the Braves, Brandon with the Twins, Peter with the Nationals, Austin with the Mets, Anthony with the Pirates, Tyler with the Cardinals, Jason with the Brewers, and Matthew Wood with the Cleveland Guardians. So I'll give you guys a quick minute for any trades, guys. Uh, if you guys want to make any trades. If not, stick to what you got. And we'll break this next. So I'll just let the video run. <clears throat> Shohei Kabooms. I know. I've pulled uh, Mookie, Freddie Freeman, Ronald Acuna, and Juan Soto so far. Alright, Rory's saying Cubs and Red Sox for trade. Anybody else? No? Now we're going to close it. Big Rick saying trade Tigers for the Cubs. I don't know if you want to do that, Rory. Will pass? Okay. TWC then, guys. Stick to what you got. Sure, when it closed. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Case of absolutes. So, we do have plenty left. So, I did go ahead and post another one of these. What's 
up, Nick? How you doing, man? How's the Arizona life, buddy? We were just talking about how hot it is right now. Um, I don't know. I feel like we have a few customers. I feel like Jeremy, I don't know if he might be a Panthers fan or just collecting one of their players as rookies, but I feel like Jeremy um, has been buying a lot of them in uh, our, uh, our bigger team for sitting at least. It's kind of been a mixture of people, though, but... Sammy Sosa at 149. I know, I heard, man. I'm going to be over there in two weeks. I'm going to go visit the in-laws in Santan. Alright. Hands to 149. And a Jaron Duran. On the board already, Roar. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Oh, well, Flawless, they're really cheap, man. They're they're really cheap, so I think that's also the reason why people are buying them. <laughs> and we have to 60, Brian De La Cruz for Miami. Absolute. Uh, that's Miami. Let me go get the sheet really quick here. Yeah, I know, David. They, my aunt, well, not my aunt, sorry. Uh, my aunt said they were like, it's 113 over there right now. And uh, Miami, that's Matthew Wood. So I gotta go get some slider boxes. I'll do that right now after this box. I forgot there's like 10 of those we need. So I'll go grab that right now. Brody, what's going on, man? <coughs> Ichiro, out of 25. Nothing, man. Just pulling Kyle Pitts and almost every picker team of Obsidian so far. Last one didn't have one, but it did have a white Contra. Mondesi for Kansas City. Adalberto Mondesi. KC, that's going to uh, Jeremy. Another one for KC. That's uh, Angel Zerpa. Always, Chris. Always, buddy. Bruce R. Gratterall to 49 for the Dodgers. Mark McGuire to 99. We got a Trevor Story. Statistically speaking, to 149. To 199, that is a Casey Myers and Tariq. For Detroit. And to 99, rookie baseball, Luis Joe. Oh my God. 
Let me go get the cyber box now. No, David, I actually don't know where any card shops are at. I actually haven't looked up. I know Joe Pizzle's in Mesa. He says there's one nearby. I actually wouldn't mind mis visiting one. Do you do you know any, David? Are you also in, in uh, Arizona? Should go introduce myself, just in case I ever move to Arizona. <laughs> I'd love to live in Arizona, to be honest. Buy a house over there in a heartbeat with the prices here in California. But I don't think it would work out working with Jaspies. <laughs> I have to, like, commute back over here five days out of the week. Thai France, 1099. Queen City. We're you're talking Arizona, bro? What is where's Queen City? The only Queen City that I know of is Queen Creek. Is that is that is that where it's at? Luis there for the Yankees. Logan Gilbert to 199. Well, if it's in Queen Creek, I know where that's at. That's really close to my in-laws. They they live in Santan, so. Luis Fries. For Zona, Justin Martin and Austin Hayes to ninety-nine. Yeah, this time I want to be able to explore a little bit of AZ. It's kind of like, obviously, visiting the in-laws, I haven't seen... I haven't been... Not that I haven't seen them, because they come down here every few months. But I haven't seen them since, like... Like, Thanksgiving time, like, last year, November. I haven't been to Arizona since, like, Thanksgiving. So, to see them in their house, you know. But uh, also, too, my niece is uh, on a big volleyball tournament uh, trip. She plays volleyball for these clubs. She's really good from what I'm told, so... I personally haven't seen her in a few years playing volleyball because with my schedule, it's kind of hard. Uh, breaking at night and then, you know... So I haven't really seen her, but... She's also going to be having a volleyball tournament out there in Arizona, so... On Friday, I'll fly out over there early in the morning. It's in Phoenix, so I'll probably stay there for the day, watch her play volleyball. And then, um... Head to my in-laws later that night. Probably go back into the city again in Phoenix on Saturday, and then Sunday, Monday... Just kind of uh, chillax out there at my in-laws' house. Bartolo Colon. So it should be fun. Nick Fortes. To 199. Nice. I love Queen Creek, man. It's very beautiful there, too. I mean, obviously all... Some of the newer cities, right? They've been building for the last X amount of years. Yeah, my, my father-in-law's business moved from L.A. to to uh, to Arizona uh, during the pandemic in 2020. So, uh, you know, they wanted to get a house, but they just didn't know where. And, you know, they figured, what could we get for, like, what we, what could we could afford just randomly, you know, obviously with the company moving. So they liked their little house right there in Queen Creek. It was like a two-bedroom, three-bath. And at the time, prices were really cheap. 
or sorry, in Santan, and it's not too far which he works anyways. It's like I think like a twenty minute drive. But yeah, Queen Creek was really nice. I still want to go visit. Like I remember during the pandemic, they were building that like that um that like movie theater slash like karaoke place, kind of like round one. I'm sure it's open by now. Luis Jill. Mondesi. Established Threads. 1099. And wow, we hit one of these yesterday. Another one today. Shohei Otani, 9 out of 25. Very nice. Showtime. That's for the Angels, and that is going to Justin Martin. Jesus Christ, dude. I hate when all these people just want to just drive like 100 miles an hour down a very crowded PCH. Two cases in a row, Kev, right? Am I crazy? Pirates, that's uh, number 299, that's uh, Brian Reynolds. Two autographs, Rookie Inc., Josh Barlow, or Joe Barlow. Texas with that one, that's uh, Chris Parent. And Eloy Jimenez. For the White Sox win Alani. That's number 299. Andrew Kinsner. Tools of the Trade to 199. A-Rod to 199. Vidal Brujan, rookie class, 1099. Two of the trade down is Swanson. Atlanta with that one, that's going to Josh. And out of 99, Luis Fries for Arizona. Little booklet. Mike Trout to 189 or 149, sorry. Braggy to 99. Colton Wong for Boston to 199. 
Uh, I can double check right now, Charles. I don't think so. Hold on. To 60, Chas McCormick for Houston. Houston, Arizona, LA, Miami, New York, and nothing yet, but we're still halfway through, so still plenty of stuff potentially out there. We have uh, Ty France. Redemption. With well, a Jared Kalanick for Seattle. Seattle, that's going to Brett Myers. And then Angel Serpa for Kansas City. Whoa, rookie wood signatures wood. What does that mean? Is that like on wood, but also like a wood parallel, like one of one or what? Let's see. I don't wanna get too excited yet. It doesn't say, it says everything's numbered as 50, but it doesn't say like a parallel. It just says rookie wood signatures and then serial number to 50. But why does this one say wood signatures, but then it says wood? So I don't know. That's weird. Usually that means it's a parallel. Oh, well, we'll find out. Edward Cabrera, card number 137, which is Miami Marlins. So, could be out of 50 or something else. Miami, that's going to Matthew Wood. <laughs> what are the odds of that? A Wood signature, Wood parallel going to Matthew Wood. Is, it <laughs> is that correct? Hold on. Yes, Marlins. <laughs> it was meant to be staying in the Wood family. All right, well, halfway through, guys. Let's continue on. Don't f also forget, guys, to look at 130 point if you don't use that already, Doug. If it was best offer accepted at 600, make sure that that's exactly what they gave because sometimes it's much less than that. If you haven't used like 130 point. I forget the other website that Nick uses. Could be less than that. Paul Goldschmidt. And we got Shane Bass. Maddox Burns. Patrick Mazeka for the Mets. Going to Austin Caruso. 
and AJ Minter for Atlanta. A lot of Thai France numbered cards coming out of this box or case. Josh Lowe to one forty nine. Dustin May for the Dodgers to ninety nine. Down with that one. And Matt Verlang to ninety nine for Philadelphia. Phillies. He rose. All right, I think we got our first kaboom. Bryce Harper. Kaboom. For the Philadelphia Phillies, Chris Parent. Gabriel Urias for Cleveland. And Greg Dachman. Chicago's Tools of the Trade. And Joe Musgrove for the Padres. Mookie Betts. And a Wander Franco, 71 out of 149. Still haven't yet to pull a Wander autograph out of this. Andrew Jones to 199. And to 60, Jose Siri for Houston. Houston. That's going to uh, Adam Dresser. Three more boxes to go, guys. Um, well, I always tell everybody, and I'll say it again, you know, it's like, um, the card grades a 10, not, it's never going to hurt the value, right? But there's just no guarantee, so I wouldn't grade it unless you think it has the potential to be a 10, you know, like, don't grade it just to grade it because it's off-centered and you want to hit a 9. I mean, nines aren't bad, but I'd rather, like, try to think it's going to be a 10 and then get the result of a 9. But, yeah, I mean, I think people are going to start grading a lot of these base prisms because they're opening up the cheapest uh, PSA grading. What is it, 30 bucks? So people are going to do it. 
and they should have it back, you know, hopefully middle of the season of the NFL. So I don't, I don't ever see it as a bad thing. It, it, it will increase the value if it grades a ten, but it's like it grades like an eight or something crazy like that, or all nines and no tens, and it's gonna kind of hurt a little bit. But I never minded people grading everything. Anderson Tejeda. It's like when people say, no, you don't need a grade on 101. Like, you don't need to. It's like, well, I mean, technically, no, you don't need to. St. Louis. But if it grades a 10, well, well, there's nothing to complain about. You should be happy because it's probably worth more. A lot of people nowadays grade 101s just to protect them. You know, from future damage, if that's the case. Brian De La Cruz. And Drew Ellis for Arizona. Rookie class, Jackson Coar. How about a Dennis Eckersley? That's St. Louis edition. I don't really see that too often. Whew. Damn! Did you really? Bro, did Jesus. Yeah, I would grade that, dude. I mean, does it look really off-centered? If it looks really off-centered, probably not. Spencer Strider, because when you send it into grade, you're going to have to pay a shit ton of money for it already. But if it has the potential to at least be a 9, I would grade it. That's Spencer Strider for Atlanta to 99. Or that too, David. Yeah, you can get authenticated just to protect it and have it in a slot. That's what most people end up doing too. You can send it to BGS too. PSA is not the only option, I guess. You could send it to BGS. I I tend to I just personally my thing is like I tend to look at PSA when it's like regular size cards because I just love them in that slab. But BGS obviously can give you the opportunity to grade them with the subgrades, and that can usually help when selling. You know. Oh, then I would yeah. If you really think it looks good, corners, everything, centering, even really too, then I'd send it into any one of those two grading companies. Back at our PSA. Yachty to 99. Definitely worth definitely worth the investment. But congrats, man. I, I did not know you hit something that big. Jose Miranda from Minnesota. I don't know what the customer that I hit the T Law out of 10 is gonna do with, but. Colton Welker for Colorado to 75. Oh, does BGS not do that, Roy? I've never sent anything to BGS. I mean, I've only graded like twice in my life. <laughs> I mean, at least for myself. Glenn Otto. But our guy that we have here, Kobe, just does PSA submissions, so... Well, see, the way the market is right now, it's just like, if it's a if it's a BGS 9.5, it's going to sell for more than a PSA 9, but if it's a PSA 10, that's going to outsell a PS, uh, 9.5 BGS. So what some people end up doing is when they hit something big like yours, they obviously send it to, you know, maybe one, one grading company and see what it comes back, and then if they don't like it, they crack it and send it to the other one. Jose Siri. Oh, it's two autographs there. Tools of the trade to 75. Because, I mean, you're, you're already making so much money with the hit that they don't mind, like... They don't mind doing that. Adonis Medina. You were at Disney World on vacation. Stopped that late. Oh, my God. So, you were, it was a personal, like, in-store, or you got into a group break? Dang. Adonis Medina for Philly. That's Chris Parent. Uh, Joanna Dom for Washington.
Alright, we've only hit one kaboom, so there should be one more in here. I haven't seen an average of two in every case. Oh, okay. So then, basically, Rory, what you're saying is that you pay for the grading fee and then whatever the timeline is. But on PSA, depending on what the cost is for the card, they're going to charge you for that. But then that also means you can get it back quicker, right? Because the more expensive it is, the quicker you can get the turnaround. Wow, you got it and you waited two days? First of all, to have the strength to not rip that right away is, is amazing. Jose Abreu. Trevor Story for Boston. Phil Conurco. Absolute heroes for Atlanta. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. And Tyler Miguel for New York Mets. Wow, that is the tiniest signature I've ever seen. That's That's got to be one of the worst. Definitely up there, right? That has to be one of the worst. Wow. one more time. Jesus. Alright, last pack here. I don't know if there's a kaboom in here or not, but hopefully. Goose Gossage. Ah, oh, no kaboom. So I only got one. This case was way different than all the other ones. Jackson Reitz. I feel like our other cases have been pretty strong with the kabooms and hits, but... I mean, I guess we did get a showtime, but we also got one yesterday and still got two kabooms. Jose Siri for Houston. Luis Fries, and I feel like they're cold. Whoa! Okay, well, that kind of helps. One of one, Jose Fries. I feel like the collation was really the same, too. Like, a lot of the same names, but I'll take a one of one here at the end. That is for Arizona and Justin Martin. So, a little one of one to end it off there, which is not bad. But there you go, guys. That was those. Like I said, we got a showtime. Right here, or not here, this one. Shohei, which is really cool. And then, did we only end up getting nine booklets? I feel like we did. I guess so. All right, guys, well, appreciate it. Um, hopefully the next case has a wander and potentially two kabooms. We only ended up getting one. Let me quickly just show you guys here this stuff. Where's the kaboom at? To get a wandered number, which is cool. But just a Bryce Harper, basically. Oh, was the redemption a book? Oh, you're right. Maybe that was a redemption. Oh wait, that was a that was a booklet. Oh. Wait, no, but that says w Rookie Wood Signatures. I don't think that was a booklet. Because they have Rookie Leather Signatures. 
And then rookie Woods. Oh, that's a booklet too. Oh, my fault then. Well, there you go. I guess so, maybe. All right, yeah. I trust Rory. He knows more on the baseball. Okay, yeah. That's just weird though, because it doesn't give me the serial number of wood. It just says out of 50. Interesting. Okay. Well, either way then. So then I guess there was 10. All right, so there you go, guys. So again, this was number three. Uh, I do have number four. Still have time to potentially run it back if you guys want. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.